Hello there everyone. Today I want to show you how to make this Celtic knot wire work ring. And it looks like this. So you have a nice Celtic knot design at the front, just with bare wires, and then we have the actual ring band is woven. But it looks like this on. So a nice and subtle ring, but it gives a nice effect there because of the knot that we have. And this is the one I'm going to show you today. I've also done a different version of it, a bit more of the next step one. So this is the same technique and the same knot, but instead of having bare wires at the front there, I've actually woven some wires together. And then that looks like this on. So also quite nice and subtle, but just a little bit more the next step almost. So I'm going to show you how to make this one today. I'm going to put a link in the description box once I have this available. This is a future tutorial that's coming up. So just have a look out for that. But otherwise, this is the one I'm going to show you how to make today. So if you want to learn how to make that one, then keep watching. So these are the things that we'll need to make this ring. Now all we're going to need are these two gauges of wire. They're both regular round wire, and I'm just working with a copper wire here. And this larger one is a 0.8mm, and that's going to be the structure of the piece, of the ring. And then this is a 0.4mm, and that's what we're going to use to wrap with. And then we'll also just need a selection of our basic pliers, and then also if you have it, a ring mandrel, or anything that has the shape and size that you need your ring to be. So let's get all the materials together, and let's get started. So to start off, we need to cut our wire ready. And what I have here is I have two lengths of my 0.8mm wire, and these are about 30 centimeters long each. And we're not going to be using the full length of these because it is just a ring that we're making, but we just need to make sure we have enough to work with to make the ring and also finish the piece off at the end. So cut these wires ready. Now as for the 0.4mm wire that we're going to be wrapping with, what I'm going to do is leave it on the reel while we're wrapping with it because it's going to be easier because we don't necessarily know how much we're going to need for the ring but also there's going to be less waste just because of this. So just leave this on the reel. So what we need to do first is we need to start our wrapping because that's going to be the actual ring band going around the finger. So that's what we need to do first. So I'm going to have my two lengths here of 0.8mm wire that I already cut. Just start with one first and we'll bring the other one in. And then take your 0.4mm wire that's still attached to the reel. And then what we need to do is just wrap this around the one wire first and I always like to just leave a bit of a tail just because it helps kind of hold on to it but also we might want to use it at the end to finish off the wire it's always best to leave a tail and then I'm going to come around from the back underneath the wire and wrap once around the top like that so wrapped around once coming from the top going underneath and then wrapped around and then we're coming down here towards the bottom of that wire and just kind of keep hold of it. We can still move it up and down but this wrap it beget, it comes a little bit tight so I don't necessarily suggest that you start on one end and then push your wire through. I prefer to start in where I actually want the weave to be. And where I've started is not completely halfway but a little bit further than halfway to one side and then we're going to wrap our way across the halfway point on these wires. And then now we've done that one wrap I want to bring in the other one, so I'll put this on top of my other wire just like this and the tail coming behind it. So now we have this weaving wire, it's coming from underneath the bottom one there and then wrapping across the top again, now on both of them, just like that. And then what you'll find, it's going to be a little bit hard to tell the first one here, but once you actually get into the weave, you can tell that this one, where you're wrapping across both of them, it kind of, it's a bit diagonal across them. So now it's around both of them. We're around the back. We need to come up in between the two wires. So in between the middle there. And then just around the top one on its own. So just like that. So we start out one wrap around the bottom, once around both, and then once around the top. And this is the wrap that we're going to be doing throughout. So this was basically one, one section of it. So we need to start from the beginning again. And like I said, your wires can still move on it, but I do recommend that kind of from now on, you make sure you place your weave on your base wires where you want it to sit. So now you go back, it's coming from underneath, back to wrap around the bottom one on its own, so that means you go down in between the two, like that. 
just the once and then we come back around the bottom again go over and now over both of them and then around the back and just up between the two so just like that and then back around just the top one and every time you do your wraps make sure you push everything nice and close together because that's going to make sure your wrap gets nice and neat so just like this and that's basically the wrap that we're going to be doing throughout this whole ring band repeating the bottom one both of them and then the top one so I've now kept weaving until I have a decent length and what I want to do now is just get my ring mandrel out and then place it on there. I'm just placed about the middle, keep hold of that and then bend it around to the other side. So we just want to check that we have the right size of the weave now. And what you want is you don't want your weave to come up in the middle and meet where the wires cross over. So you don't want the weave to go all the way up here, but just down towards the sides of your ring mandrel there. So something like this is going to be just perfect. And obviously if you don't have a ring mandrel you can just use something else like a marker pen that's the right size that you need to be. And then this is kind of the shape of the ring. Now it's not going to, we still need to work with the top here so don't worry if it goes a little bit out of shape. But it's just to know that you have the right length of the weave and it's roughly in the right size and shape. So now that we know that, what we can do is go in and cut the excess of our weaving wire off because we're done using that now. That's just for the ring band. So I'm just going to get my flush cutters here. You can also use regular cutters, but I do like using the flush cutters because it gets the finish a little bit nicer. If you don't have some flush cutters, what I'm going to do is put a link to these in the description box below. So you can have a look there. And then we just want to basically cut these, cut the wire off. And what I actually like to do is finish it in between my base wires. So just get the two apart here. And then just get it up in between. So just make sure that when I cut it off, the very end of that weaving wire sits in between the wires. I'll go in there and cut the excess off. Same with the other side. Just need to split them apart like that. So it's just as, so it's nice and secure, and also so you don't have an end somewhere that's kind of sticks out or might catch or scratch on something and if you do then just run your finger over it if you do then feel a little bit get your chain nose pliers and just get the very end of that weaving wire and just gently press it Ro I like to roll in the direction that the wire is going because that means it's going to lie flush against the base wires so just like that so we finished off these wires, so now what's left to do is do the knot at the top here with the base wires that we have left. So to do that what I'm going to do is just start on the sides here. So the base wires that are coming out from the weaved part, we kind of need to just split them up a little bit. So they're going to each their own side, you can just put your finger in there and just press it down. It's going to give it a nice and even bend outward. Something a bit like this, just make sure it's nice and even so they have roughly the same angle to them on both sides. And do the same with the other side. And you can always, if you need to, while you're working with it, just open up the ring band a little bit. You don't have to worry too much about that because before we finish off the ring, we're going to reshape it around the ring mandrel because it's probably going to open up while you're working with it anyway. So open them up like this, and then what we need to do is have a wires then come back in again a little bit just a gentle curve because we now need to basically interweave them to create that knot that we're going to make so to do that what I like to kind of do is basically start the knot further out on the wires and then pull it tight it makes it a little bit easier so we need to bring the wires together but they need to cross over each other in a certain way so just gently press these down a bit so you get a bit more of the look of how the ring will look. And then what we need to do is one of the other ones here need to go over. So that'll be this one, the bottom one. So that will need to go over and basically go in almost that loop you created. 
So when you pull it down, you have these two bottom ones crossing over, and then the top one here needs to come underneath. And then when you do that, we need that to go over the one you crossed over on this side in the first place, and then through the ring band. So that, as you can see, it helps to kind of have this opened out a little bit as we're working with it. And then just take your time, pull these down, try and keep the curves in there to get your final knot to look as nice as possible. And just gently pull them. Now this one as well is still loose, so that needs to come down in that other loop. So where the wire is coming from this side, you need to go down the loop on the opposite side. So like that, and again, down through the ring band. So slowly getting there now. It still looks a bit messy. So now we need to do is just make sure that the wires are crossing properly on the sides as well. And you can see you've got one coming out here now. We just need to make sure that that goes down. And because that's coming underneath on the side, it needs to cross over the other one that's going underneath. So we go back down, and that goes over the one coming out on the same side here. So just do this gently, so we don't get too many kinks in the wire. You can always smooth it out as you go. So that is pretty much the knot in place now. What we need to do is kind of keep tightening a little bit. just until it looks nice. Keep them gentle curves in there. So we kind of have a bit of an open knot. As you can see it's starting to slowly look like something. But we obviously want it to look even. So you just want to take your time doing this now until the knot looks how you want it to look. Get your wires positioned nicely in place. And then it might also help putting it back on the ring mandrel getting it to the size that you want it to be and you can always then hold on to it so the ring band itself is sitting where you want it to sit and then pull on your wires one at a time to kind of tighten it up and so it sits and looks nice in the middle here I can see we know we're slowly getting there now so you just want to keep doing this for a little bit until you're completely happy with how it looks and it's nice and even and you can always as well just gently use like some chain nose pliers to just either pull some wires out a little bit or press them in, help the curve along. So that's just how you do this knot then. And until you're happy with it, and then once you're happy with how it sits, what we need to do is finish off the ends of the base wires here. So once you've kept working for a bit and you're happy with the way that the knot looks here at the front, what we really need to do now is just finish off these base wires. And what I just want to say about the sizing of the ring, I recommend that you roughly go up about one size higher up than you want your final ring to be. Just because right now we're going to finish off these ends by just doing a couple of wraps around. So that's just going to take up a little bit, but not too much either. So that's what's left to do now. So I'm just going to take it off my ring mandrel. And then what I like to do is just keep hold of the knot here with my fingers quite tightly. So you don't distort it, but also so it's not going to move while you're finishing these off. So we're going to do both sides in the same way, and what I like to do is just take one side at a time. So you start with one wire, and then right here, where your weave ends on your ring bend, I want to just start bending this around, and then come through the ring bend, back to the original side. And you can always just use some pliers to help get your wires in the right position. like that and then just check that your knot still looks nice and sits how you want it to sit because otherwise you want to adjust that now before you cut anything off and I just like for it to come straight across the side there you can always as well just squeeze it down a little bit just to make it even tighter and so it makes it nice and secure as well so what I'm going to do is cut this off I just want to have a look at the back as well just to make sure it sits just right and then I'm again going to take my flush cutters and then where I want to cut it off is right where the wire here meets where you started wrapping it around in the first place so basically the very end of the wire 
is gonna end up sitting right underneath and kind of butting up against that first wrap and then you just take your chain nose pliers and help that along what you can also do is use something like this which is a wire rounder tool and you just have a little cup at the end there where you then place that on the very end of your wire you might just need to open it out a little bit if you want to do that just so you have space to get in there and you can use this just to gently file the end a little bit so it's a little bit in case you'll be able to run your finger over and you can feel it a little bit if you use this then at least it won't have any sharp edges so that's something you can do as well but otherwise I want to then get this end to basically butt up right against the original wire just like that to finish it off and then also you won't be able to feel it on the inside because obviously that's going to sit around your finger so that's how I'm going to finish off that side we need to do the same thing with the other side here so I'm just going to wrap that in the opposite direction I'm just going to lay that right below the other one and then go through the ring band the exact same principle and come out the other side here and again just kind of squeeze it down so it's nice and tight and same principle again get your cutters and cut off the end right so the very end of your wire once you cut it puts up right against itself basically and then just squeeze that in so just like that and then just always run your finger over it and see if you can feel anything if you can't you can even try and put it on your finger and if you can't feel anything that's fine it's not going to catch or scratch on anything you want to do the same thing on the other side just finish that off the exact same way that I already showed you and once you've done that your ring will basically be done and then once you've finished off the wires on the other side the exact same way and just go over all the ends with your fingers to make sure you can't feel them because then that's going to be nice and comfortable to wear as well and this is basically a finished ring with your nice Celtic knot design on the front there it's going to sit like this on your finger so a nice fairly simple wire work ring with a Celtic knot design you just got to get that knot right at the front there but otherwise then that's your finished ring so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you very much for watching hello everyone today I want to show you how to make these Celtic knot wire work earrings and they look like this so quite simple they have a nice dangle to them and just because of the gemstone that I added there it also gives a bit of colour but you have this nice effect but they're quite simple and easy to make so if you want to learn how to make these then keep watching so these are the few things that we'll need to make these earrings now here I have my wire and this is a 